it's Melissa from Melissa's Creations and today I have a special treat for you because I am using some of the brand new products in the occasions catalog that will be coming out at the beginning of January we have this gorgeous metallic edge ribbon it is so beautiful and of course in one of my favorite colors berry burst we're also using this dynamic textured impressions embossing folder that has sequins right in the folder. It's so pretty. And one of my most favorite thinlets, the Happy Birthday Thinlet Die. I'm so excited to show you how I made this card. Let's get started. So we are starting out with a card base that is 11 by four and a quarter. And I'm just going to fold it in half and give that a score. And if you'd like to score it beforehand, you can do so at five and a half. So that is our card base. I also have a piece of lemon lime twist. This measures four inches by five and a quarter inches. We're going to run that through our big shot with the dynamic textured impressions embossing folder. Now this is six inches wide, so it's a nice wide folder. Lots of possibilities for that fun tool. I have my regular Big Shot platform here. I am not going to be using the adapter and I'm only going to use one cutting plate on top of the folder. So I'm going to slip that lemon lime twist into that embossing folder and just kind of line it up on the bottom. Then I'm gonna put it in right here on the plate. Put one plate on top and then I'm gonna run that through one time. And here is our beautiful embossed cardstock. Isn't that gorgeous? I love this folder. It is so awesome. So we're going to take some of that gorgeous metallic edged ribbon. I just, oh, it's so pretty. What do you guys think? Do you love it? I love that. I'm going to do a trick that I saw on Pinterest. Now, I'm not claiming credit for this, but I, I can't remember the name of the demo who I saw this from. But I did see it on Pinterest, and they took a Tombow, and they tied a knot around it. And I just thought that that was so clever. It was such a great way to get a really nice knot. So I'm going to tie it around my Tombow here. And we'll just give that a knot nice and tight like so and then they slipped it off and they took their scissors and cut at an angle here and it gave them a perfect beautiful little knot with angled ends I just thought that that was so awesome I'm gonna trim those down a little bit but I'm gonna get my placement on my card first so I'm going to take a mini glue dot and I'm going to put it on the back of my knot so I can get my placement first. We'll put that right on our card where we want it. Let's stick it down right here. And then I'm just going to use some fast fuse on the back to adhere the edges of the ribbon down. So I'm just gonna trim that off, flip it over, a little bit of fast fuse and then to make sure that my ribbon is straight i'm just going to wrap it right around like this and stick it down on the back and i'm just going to get rid of that extra ribbon there now i can trim this down a little bit more so cut at an angle just trim it a little bit there we go now with a scrap piece of Whisper White, I'm going to use some of our adhesive sheet. Let's see, that is about the right size. I'm gonna peel off the back. Love these adhesive sheets with our thin lid dies. It just makes it so easy to stick down without having to glue it too much. And I'm just going to set that right down on the top and I'm just going to trim the edge off real quick all right now I have my magnetic platform along with a cutting plate I'm going to put my white cardstock with that adhesive sheet behind it down and then we're going to place our thin lit so I've got my happy birthday there and I'm just going to run that through a couple of times to make sure that it cuts really well
Okay, I have my foam mat inside of one of our wood mount stamp cases, and here's my die brush. I love the die brush in this die. It works so well to get all those little pieces out and loosen that up. Look at it just comes right out. Beautiful. Okay, we're going to put some fast fuse on the back of our embossed card mat and stick that down to our card front. Center that up and get that right down there. And now we're going to bring in our happy birthday and just peel off that backing. And just be careful that you don't rip that delicate die piece. There we go. And then just center that right on the top. And there we are, creators, a beautiful and quick happy birthday card using some of the brand new products that will be available in the Occasions catalog. If you want to get your hands on these right now, you can do so by heading to melissascreations.com. Click on the Join Now button, see the different options that are available to you, and join my team. You'll be able to order all of these supplies right now now and you won't have to wait until January. If you're not quite ready to take that plunge, you can certainly wait until these products launch and the Occasions Catalog comes out. The Occasions Catalog is going to be available starting January 3rd. I can show you the cover and the products, but I can't show you the inside yet. So if you want to get in on this awesome catalog early, go ahead and head over to my site, click on the Join Now, and read up a little bit more about joining my team. Celebration is also coming, and that starts January 3rd as well. I can't wait to start showing you some amazing products from these beautiful catalogs and brochures. So be sure to stay tuned because I will have an unboxing video coming very soon. I hope you enjoyed today's card. If you did, please give the video a big thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. And don't forget to leave me a comment. Let me know what you think of these two new products that are coming out in the Occasions catalog. You can visit me online at melissascreations.com where you can either sign up to get these supplies now or you can wait until January and order them from my site. Just click on the shop now button to get to my store. You can also follow me on Facebook at facebook.com slash mcreations and follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and Pinterest with the handle at mcreations. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope you enjoyed this quick card and I will see you next time. Bye!